ano ah, maring atina na kung dito ng timpayaman yung baksa and yung jawhead nandun naman sa kabilang side so yung well, key heroes na magkabilang team natin nagkapalit and as we've seen top Philippines si iba yung tao ang work poster naman merong chew ayan na, na kung hindi nyo alam guys is yung head niya is always in the game no actually yung last laban ng work against U11 eh ano eh kahit super behind na si Chu nakahabol pa rin siya and that was the reason nung naging comeback nila Ang gusto ko si Chu playing for the Hyper Carry or Core role sa recent na mga fights or series played nila. And thank you for the insight galing kay Christine Joy. Lalaki daw si Officer Karen. Ayan, nasagot na ang Mysterio uh, Baymax. <laughs> At sa so, si, ano lang, si Lexa ang prinsesa ng Team Payaman. Uh -huh. Pero Baymax, kailan nga ba? Pag nag yes ba? <laughs> Karat lang guys. Kasi si Baymax na awkward eh, and then still, De, lang. Eh, yes, ayan, napapakanta pa nga si Arina, pero going back, oh, no. team pa naman, Giyang versus Work All-Star Force, very aggressive right now, RTZ together with Unravel, Ooh. pero binigyan sila ng isang matinde, that will be a double kill, secured agad ni Tisha with that Khalid, talagang ang masasabi natin dun, another one. <laughs> another one, talagang ano eh, pinaikot, ikot. Di durog, durog. Yung mga miyembro durog. ng World Oster Force. ba diba? Ang ganda sana ng jungle invade na ginawa nila rito. Pero iba rin yung respond rate ng Team Payaman Giyang. Ito talaga giyang na giyang sa pag-EML. Na talaga hindi naman sila magpapatalo agad-agad. Aray ko po. Look at the nakatalo na galing dito kay Ninsay and Shu. Trying to aggravate Tisha pero hindi sila masyado papalagad. Meanwhile, there will be an off-cam kill. Pero dito, focus lang tayo kay Chu. Hindi na nga yata makakauway yung quad shadow niya. Eh, naka-cooldown pa. Good thing that Tisha. <laughs> eh, hindi pa naman nagiging sapat para makas niya agad dito yung desert tornado niya. Yes, and hindi natin napansin kanina, Maring Atina, no? Yeah, karoon tayo ng off-cam kill galing kay Lexa. And look at this, another abyssal will connect onto that middle lane. Oh, oh. RTZ is going to be forced to back away. Luckily, no, may passive. May talasophobia yon Si, uh, ano, si Kadita, ayan. Oh, spell mo, talasophobia. <laughs> Takot sa tubig. Basta yun na yun. <laughs> oh, yun okay, na yun. Let's go talaga, let's get it. Pero unravel. Tala. <laughs> I thought he was going for a rejector, pero hindi pa yung ano. Hindi niya inabutan si Yoshi nung nakauwi na pala. Papunta ka pala. Papalik na ako, sabi dito ng Kung Fu Panda Lords natin. The first turtle, upper clubs, Baymax, take the floor. Yes, and as of now, they're being taken by Work Oster for a possible contest na makikita natin dito if magkoconnect yung abyssal arrow. Kaso hindi nagconnect, kaya naman mapipilitan nalang mag-back away ang team Payaman Giyang. Turtle has been taken away and as of now, rotation-wise, wala pa naman tayo na ikita na ganun kagiyang from both sides of the team. Ito ang giyang na giyang arrow dito ni Lexa, pero there will be. Anong tawag doon? Yung talagang naninindak si RTZ with the Kadita, guys. Nung naispatan niya, tinaman. Ang sabi niya, nope, I'm not nope, going nope. there kasi nandun nakaabang pala sa may bandang bush yung bundot ni Karina. Pero right now, killer oh, no. versus team for TZ. Oh my Pero gosh! Ito pumapalag yung lapu-lapu natin. Meanwhile, disengage siya lang din with the Justice Blades. Unravel perfect position kapag may dumaan mm -hmm. dyan. Talagang giba. Meanwhile, yung say medyo na inep. Okay, Puma Word March siya doon. Yoshinu, on the other hand, nice pata oh. ni Unravel, pero nice abyssal arrow. Hindi nag-connect, guys, pero that is enough to stop Unravel on his tracks. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, masasabi ko ngayon dito sa laban natin, Maring Atina, no? Ay, ko, Work oh. Oster Force! Oh my God! Is may map awareness. Kasi alam nila eh, na yung Akai nandun sa loob ng bush. Pero look at that. Yung damage output ng rough waves ni RTZ is super high. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Nakapaganda ng layer of skills right now ng Team Payaman Giyang. There is another trade of Kung nakuha man doon si Lexa, ang sagot naman nila dito. Sige, kunin nyo na isa dyan. Sininsay, we will be taking down the energy shield which gives them a boost onto their network. Pero right now, counter uh, exchange ang gustong mangyari dito ng side ng team Payamando sa may banda top lane. Pero dito sa may banda middle lane, oh, no. kill from Manila. Talagang sinasalubong lahat ng dash ability dito nila Chew with the rest of the gang. Strong. Mm -hmm. Strong uh, he talaga. knows it. He knows na kaya niyang isustain pa yung damage output ng work or surface dito. Kaya kahit anong uh, pagtatangkay dito is hindi nakatakataka. 
no? Uh, makikita naman natin as of now, 4 minutes into the game, 4-1 tayo, pero look at the gold from both sides of the team, no? Hindi ganun kalayuan. Yung kalamangan ng team Payaman Giyang, and look at the rotation na pinapakita nila. They really want to find the way, eh, na makalamang ng kumaga todo, or mailayo nila yung kalamangan nila against Work Oster Force. Kaso, hindi pa nila magawa as of now. Yes, tama. Kailangan lang maghanap ng paraan, sabi nga ni Baymax, mga kaibigan. Pero right na Work Oster Force has the position and actually mm -hmm. taking down this second or actually the first turtle for this round so, makita natin Abyssal uh -huh. ROP mag-connect into anyone killer going in with a shield unity walang tatama and turtle really secured by two on that Hayabusa Baymax something to watch out for Yes, and actually, Maring Atina, that is the second turtle of the game. No, uh, Yon, uh, ayun, nakuha na kanina, di ba? Uh, pero ito, kontrobuto ng mga impact is happening. Aray, ito po, buti na ito din. May flicker doon si Lexa. Oh! Dodge, eh, Nakapakapa ng Abyssal Arrow. Kill it from... Oh, what a nice dodge. Pero an off-come kill. Ang masasaksihan natin doon sa may bandang top. Hindi naman sa may bottom side. Killer, talagang sinasalo lahat ng binibigay. Grabe. I'm rather... Tapok sa ejector combination of skills. With the rough waves, naku po, napakaganda ng wombo combo nila dito. Kasi masyado nagigigil, brave and fire. We'll be there to take him down. Talaga naman, work of Sir Force taking in this turret with force against Team Payaman Gia. I know kung bakit nila ginagawa ito. They don't want backshot to get items. Pero look at this, ang impact is happening again. Look at that, Chichu dito with the shuriken. Talaga namang... Alam mo yun? Ano ba nangyari doon? Napikit lang ako ah. Nadaal lang oh. ako ah. Parang laro natin kagabi. <laughs> Nadaal lang ako sa may bandang bush. Ang bilis akong na-take down doon. Pero, good thing that they are still able to secure their purple buff day max. Something yes. to watch out for. Anong kailangan nilang step up sa game nila? Actually, Timpayaman Giyang, ang kailangan nilang nila is, uh, iwasan dito is uh, yung death or kills na nabibigyan nila sa work of purpose kasi as of now, yung cloud wala pang death pero speaking oh of gosh. death, Cho has been killed on the bottom lane with the blazing duet Oh uh ho, -huh, pero doon, look at the counter invade dito nila Riddler from Manila, Art of Delivery with the BMI out sinalubong dito ng oh, Yurgen oh. Dati Yoshino, si Kadita mukhang hindi na makakatakas pa and they will be securing another one from work of purpose 2-0 ang naging trade-off doon, Baymax and Team Payaman mm -hmm. Gia ang sabi nila sabi kasi ni Baymax, kaya naman namin eh kailangan yes. naman mag-step up eh confidence and boost of morale ang nadagdag doon a possible turret takedown as well on the bottom side Mm -hmm. Yes, ito lang ang magiging sagot no? ng Work Oster Force going to be the turtle para doon sa turret. Pero babalik lang din naman, doon sa sinabi ko about Team Payaman Giyang is that the Claude, hindi pa napipick off ngayon so he has all the time para makapag-farm ng item. And na kailangan na lang talaga nilang maiwasan dito is yung mga pick off na ginagawa sa kanila, especially with Lexa yeah. pero on the top lane. Talagang tinaharas ng Work Oster Force eh. Yung Khalid, isa pa to. Itong Khalid natin with 3-0, Maring Atina. Yes. Uh, Claude and Khalid actually is their way of a comeback para sa akin. Yan, mismo rin. Yun yung idea. I, uh, and I agree with you. Kung si Lexa kanina yung nagiging weakest link nila, ngayon ginagawa nila to their strength, sinasamahan na nila to the point na kung nabibaby man, it really pays off. And right now, they are targeting the purple before the side of Tifa. Yaman, Giyang, pero Yoshino going in. Walang tatama dito si 3 Martizi. Instead, Chu will be able to steal the purple buff against Team Payaman Gia. Mm -hmm. I really like the way Oxstar Force play right now, ah, Mari Atina. Ah. They're super aggressive. Talagang wala silang takot puma pumasok kahit na uh -huh. dun sa loob ng jungle camp and kahit na meron pang nakabantay. Pero look at this. Kanina, ano eh, work Oxstar Force na yung may kalamangan in terms of gold. Pero Team Payaman Gia, yung unti-unti silang nagpo-call up. No, para makahabol Pero speaking of Roll Aray, ito po Apo ka sakit naman Ang Blazing Duet With Raging Sunstorm Combination Hindi na makakaligtas dito Sa ilapu-lapu Dahil kita naman natin Nagang gigil na gigil Ang team pa yaman Giyang na giyang Na makaganti Against na Work Oster Force Almost mm -hmm. two kills na yung gold lead dito ng Work Oster First against Team Payaman Giyang, Baymax, and 8-4 ang ating kill score. Yes, 9 minutes into the game, I wanna see the item dito of the Claude with the Demon Hunter Sword going for the Rose Gold Meteor. is actually a very good item nice. to try and sustain himself against Whoa, the a hyper carry of work which is the Hayabusa tapos meron pang kadita. So uh, with just this item, kaya niya nang masustain yung sarili niya, hindi na kagad siya mawa one-hit combo pero Khalid with a BOD, 
Blade of Heftasy wise yung haya sa kabilang team with BOD going endless battle Lapu-lapu though with the Bloodless Axe and Queen Swings Kaya naman pala talagang kayang-kaya niya ng mangmama ng kalaban I have a question Baymax, is that a magic blade na nakikita natin sa cloud Pero wait, hold that thought, unravel mm -hmm. with a flicker just to disengage Abyss at Arrow, hindi magkoconnect Pero si Killer Arm oh, no. ay eject dito dito na mas may bandang gen Di nagkakagulo-gulo na sila dito Rock face, ginamit na dito ng Kadita Pero ang focus para dito kay Tisha and Killer Pero look at that blazing duet na kasana dito na read the Steamer easy na stun dito sa may bandang gen Pero wala pa rin tayo nakukuha ang casualty And says in insay sa mga naman substitution ang sigaw with the wave of the dragon pero sa salubungin dito na naren tagat say will be down as well mega kill will be secured by Tisha si Chu dito mapapatakbo na lang sabi niya tapos na pala yung party hindi ako na sabihan Filipino time kasi yung gusto ko ng party na kay Vigan and Ravel naga amba ng suntok pero hindi na papalagan dito ng team payaman Gia ano nangyari ah, yun na? <laughs> Ito yung nangyari parang at Hina, no? no? Cho actually has the perfect position for that. Jit Kundu, Wave the Dragon onto the Cloud. Isang basic ito pala lang kasi hindi pa nag-connect. Pero yung ating uh, Hurricane Dance na mag-connect dito. Oh, look at that. Rafa is kinapit na nandito. Blazing Duet combination coming from Rinder. Si Andrabe hindi na makakaligtas. Pero dito sa may bandang Gendy. Like to dodge a bullet right now with the Raging Stars on combination from Khalid. Nagsumbong si Lex sa Baymax. Kanina no. pa ako kinukulit ng mga to. Sabi ng Team Payaman Giyang, huwag ka magalala. We got your six, kumbaga. We got your bag. And this si Lex and the Princess. Yes, ang pinaka pinoprotekta. Lord of the game, Baymax. And right now, another Another team fight that will be initiated in the stream and DCT shot will be shotted down by the Lapu-Lapu. Yurikin Dance is coming here from Yoshi. He's so good here with Sean. Four team fight from Giyang. Rockways is coming here from Work DC. But there's no one who can get the Lord of the Blazing Duet. He's coming here from Riddler with a normal attack. Will be able to kill down that Lapu-Lapu. Oh my gosh. What an extreme kill after kill, clash after clash. Actually, that was a very good job. What is the key? Diba? Ano yung winning condition? Ano yung mga errors nila on the way? Ito ah. Uh, actually, hindi masama yung ginawa ng Mark Oster first doon. They tried to steal the Lord while yung isa nag split push doon sa top lane. And look at this. Abasag na or open na yung gate doon sa top lane ng Team Payaman Giyang. Pero Team Payaman Giyang right now has the momentum. Work Oster Force, uh, I think ang possible na ano na narito, comeback, uh, comeback potential is makuha nila yung Claude or yung Khalid kasi most of the time yung target pinakamataas yung damage output na ako ang dami nila pwedeng ibuga Baymax action even though they've used your ultimates they have the arrow na nanggagaling kay Lexa they have the idea with Tisha with the Raging Sandstorm kung sakali man na hindi mag-connect they have Yoshinu with the Thousand Pounder Blender combination and right now single-handedly taking down Hayabusa pero dito si Unravel mo ang maling party na naman ang pinuntahal hindi pala siya invited by Max party crusher pala doon sa may bandang Gedli pero right now speaking of party crusher sa bottom lane Outplay da ito si Tisha with versus Ninsay. Pinapabayaan lang ni Lexa kung sakali man hindi kayanin. Nandito lang ako sa may band ng Gedli. Pero isang tawag mo lang nandiyan na agad ako. Three Martins in front right now. Three members ang pitira sa kanya dito sa may band ng Gedli. And nice defense coming from Work Officer for something to comment for. Hindi nabuta si middle lane nila Baymax. Pero dito Ninsay being chased down by three members. Talagang... Combination of skills ang nilalatag nila against Work Oster Force. Maring Atina, eto ha. As of now, nahit na ng Team Payaman Giyang yung sinasabi kong comeback potential nila which is yung Claude. And look at this, Claude already having the luck items dito with the Rose Gold Meteor. Whilst yung Khalid natin going Ganda? immortality with the BOD. And as of now, Work Oster Force actually meron pang chance para maka -comeback. All they need to do is have three Martizi set up the team payaman giyang pero speaking of set up magkakaroon nga ba ng set up onto the middle lane or magdi-disengage ang Work Oster Force because they know nakulang sila ng isang members though for the Work Oster Force maring Athena ang ganda ng ginagawa ni Ninsay he knows na hindi siya masyadong uh, sabihin na natin bilang 
when it comes to team fight kasi most of the time he split pushing and maganda naman yung nabubunga nung pag split push niya rito all they need to do right now is buy time for themselves no kasi yung cloud lock item na wala na tayong i-expect pa much more yes. from that damage output na binibigay niya ngayon pero with the lapu-lapu on the side of Oster well, uh, work Oster meron pa hindi pa siya lang item pwede pa natin expect na kumukunat pa siya lalo or tataas pa lalo yung damage niya pero speaking of damage look at that abyssal up the Yurikin Dance combination basic fundamental ang ginamit ng team payaman against no. Orc Oster first and right now Killer being very confident when going in with the shield unity and even the Oster Turtoise Possons niya Baymax and Orc Oster first what do they need to do target prioritizing ba ang error nila dito kasi lahat ng ano halos lahat ng core or hyper carry dito ang laki ng damage na nabibigay sila mm -hmm. even Tisha diba oy. ang sakit pero dito butas na pala yung base start onto the top lane ng team Bayaman Giyang kaya napilitan Z Killer from Manila na umuwi this oh, is something to watch out for surprisingly surprisingly mm -hmm. look oh, at the kill score that is 16 to 6 Bug bug talaga to guys, literal kapag team fights ang work officer force. Pero look at the turret takedowns B Max. Yes, in terms of turret takedowns, ang laki ng kalabangan ng work officer force dito. And as of now, I ang gusto ko lang itanong no sa work officer force kasi maring at ina is why don't they utilize the fact that the inhibitor turret on the top side of team Payaman Giyang is open. They Yo. could ano to eh, utilize this na. Uy. Yes. Show natin ng konte, then pag nag-focus sila doon, pwede tayo mag-speed push doon sa ibang lanes, no? Which is ang, nag ang nagawa lang, sininsay. And most of the time, sininsay, napipick off dito ng Team Payaman Giyang. And because nakakapag-speed push nga siya, nakaka-take doon siya ng turret, lumalaki yung bounty niya na nakukuha ng Team Payaman Giyang. Ayan. And sabi mo nga, Baymax, ba't di sila mag-focus? Ayan na! gumagawa sila ng mga plays para maging reactive yung Team Payaman. Kasi yes. every time that Team Payaman is the one that is initiating the team fight, sila yung nalulugi. Why not set it to our momentum? Kumbaga, yung idea mo kanina. Oh. Sinusundan na nila. Kaso dito na, mali na naman ang pasok si Unravel. Ito, abisal araw na nag-connect para si Team RTC. Napapaligira ka na namin. Subuko ka na! Oh no! Kapag yan! Oh my gosh! Look at this! Justice of Blades, even the bravest fighter. Ginamit niya na lang para makaligtas lang doon sa Team Payaman Giyang. He knows eh. Nakita niya. Nakita niya. Sabi, oh my God. Delikado niya yung kalagayang ko rito. Sabi niya, it's time to say goodbye. Bala na kayo dyan. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Ganun eh. Ganun yung tumunog kay Lapu-Lapu. Pero huwag ka magalang ka. Baymax, di ako mag-no-no sa'yo. Ay. Yan ang gusto ko kay Maring Atina. Walang no-no. Pero speaking of no, talagang mapapanaw dito sa baba si Maring Atisha. Ay, Riku po! Look at the changing sandstorm, pero shadow kill with a quad shadow combination. Immortality has been popped up. Hindi isa pa! Ipagigigan po na doon, pero ipagigigan din ng chicks at abe. She's so sexy talaga. Ang pasokan dito ni Lexa against Chu with a Hayabusa flicker ginamit. Pero sabi ni Hayabusa ni Chu, baka Chu to! Double kill will be secured. Time to go in for a blazing duet kasi pwede siyang hulihin doon dahil all... Ains are all uh, places na pwede siyang pumasok, covered na ng Work Oster Force. And right now, Baymax, yes. ano yung pagkakamali sa recent Clash 9? Lamang ni. Actually, ano eh, uh, ang naging pagkakamali ng Team Payaman Giyang doon is with Tisha. Masyado siyang nag-overextend, pero speaking of overextend, si Yoshino pa. Nako, kamuntikan dito. And look at this, the Lord is being taken by Work Oster Force, pero wala tayong contest na nakita. Why? Ito na yung bunga ng split pushing na ginawa ni Ninse. Yes, sabihin na natin wala siyang bilang in terms of team fights. But Mobile Legends isn't about team fight, Mari Atina. It's all about techniques, mga discarte kung paano mo tatapusin yung laro, di ba? Nice. Very smooth transition, Baymax. And guys, makikita kasi natin... This is a lesson to learn by. Kasi kung bugbug man yung team nyo sa umpisa, it's okay. You could bounce back, focus on other things to improve. And right now, Work Oster for focus their marks on split pushing against Team Payaman. To the point na kahit kami, nagulat kami na, Oo nga, no, pwede nila i-pressure all lanes. Na kahit lamang yung Team Payaman Giyang, in just a blink of an eye, naging reactive na lang sila sa mga lanes nila. And right, tapi Martisi, pero yung Blazing Duet, napigilan dito, shot it down. But Hayabut, killing spree. 
Sarili na dito Pero si Nitsa ay may sariling laban Against Lexa Sanchez sa tabi Na napauwi na lang And this will be a 0-1 series Well played for work Oscar Force Bay That's what I'm talking about, Maring Atina. About the broken gates on the top side ng base ng Team Payaman. By the time na dumating yung Lord, yes, they're winning the... Take me to the top, take me to the top, take me to the top.